let's find out uh, the pivot row and column. Pivot row and column is very important for simplex algorithm method. So if we want to do a math math mathematics by following simplex algorithm method, we have to find out the pivot uh, row, column, and uh, uh, pivot element. So uh, how are we going to find out the pivot row? Uh, column and pivot element so let's see uh, let's write here pivot pivot column then pivot row and pivot element so the first thing uh, let's Mention it one, two, and three. So these three elements are very important for simplex algorithm method. So first one is finding the pivot column. So let's see how we're going to do this. For finding the pivot column, as this, uh, let's consider this uh, table as our initial table. So from our initial table. Uh, to finding the pivot column, what we have to do is just uh, we have to check this value. You are seeing these values. These values. We have to check these values for the uh, largest absolute value with negative indicators. We have to check these values uh, and we have to ensure the largest absolute value with negative indicators. So we are seeing there is uh, minus 5 and minus 3 are the uh, value with absolute absolute value with negative indicator and rest are 0. So we are avoiding these zeros. So compare these two. These two are absolute with negative indicators. That's mean absolute value with negative indicators. So comparing in uh, between these two, we have to find out the largest one, which is 5. That's mean 5 is uh, greater than 3. So 5 is the largest absolute value with negative indicator. So this is it. This is our pivot column. So that's mean from these values, we have to find out the largest absolute value with negative indicators. So 5 is the largest, largest absolute value comparing with these uh, elements or these values with negative indicators. That's mean minus. So this is our pivot column. First finding. So this one is done. Second one is pivot row. Okay. So before going to find out the pivot row, we have to do a thing that is displacement ratio. We have to find out the displacement ratio of what? Okay. We already have found the pivot column and our elements are 6 for first row, 5 for second row and 2 for the third row. And in here we have some constant from our question. These are uh, 36 for first row, 40 for second row and 28 for the third row. So these two are our main uh, thing to find out the pivot row. So what we need to do is just uh, the element from pivot column and constant column. Element from the pivot column and elements from the constant column. These two will need for finding the pivot row. So let's see how it's happening. Let's consider the first row. If, if we uh, consider the first row just avoid this thing let's see we have 6 from uh, the pivot column and 36 from the constant column okay so let's find out the displacement ratio which will be uh, equal uh, which will be equal to 36 divided by 6 I mean constant will be divided by same row pivot element so the first one is for first row 
its uh, constant element constant column element divided by pivot column element same row same row constant column element divided by pivot column element so this is what it's six same for the second one in here is five and in here is 40 so do it second row is 40 divided by 5 so which is 8 and the third one is 28 divided by 2 so third row is 28 divided by 2 which is 14 so to find out the uh, pivot row we have to take the lowest displacement ratio and these are our displacement ratio these are our displacement ratio but we have to find out the lowest displacement ratio so as from these values we can see that 6 is so 6 is our lowest displacement uh, displacement ratio so first one is holding the lowest displacement ratio I mean first row is holding the displacement ratio so this is how this is it so as first one is holding the lowest displacement ratio that's when this will consider as the pivot row so this is our pivot column and this is our pivot row how are we going to find the pivot column as uh, from this uh, row, I mean the fourth row, I mean the last, large, uh, last row, from here we have to find out the largest absolute value with negative indicator. That column will be considered as the pivot column. And to finding the pivot row, we have to find out the pivot, sorry, the find out the lowest displacement ratio by uh, same row, co co constant, element will be divided by same row pivot element pivot column element so this is how we are going to find out the displacement ratio and the lowest value lowest displacement value holding row will be considered as the pivot row so in this case the first row is going to consider as the pivot row and let's see carefully that the intersection of pivot row and pivot column sorry yeah, pivot column and pivot row. The intersection point of pivot row and pivot column is here. So the intersection value is 6. So this is what our pivot element is. So in here, we have find out the pivot row and also the pivot element, which is 6. So this is how uh, we are going to uh, find out the pivot row and pivot column uh, we will record this kind of basic to solve the simplex algorithm method in further term